Hello fellow surfers, welcome back to Flavor Tasters. I hope you guys are well. My name is Taylor Stewart. I'm the host and founder of the show and this is the food and beverage review channel. So, firstly, get a little look. They're nice and crispy, they're nice and cooked. And this is what we are right here reviewing. And the price of them was if I can just pull open my um, price thing here okay two ninety nine. so apparently they have no artificial colors or flavors um, suitable for vegans and vegetarians so I'm assuming that there would also be um, like kosher friendly in a sense like well maybe it's not kosher word but like clean no um, unclean animals type of things being used yeah because if it's vegan there's definitely not going to be any meat in it anyway they claim that the package is also used um from recycled um recycling packages and so what we're going to do is i'm going to save some for the next review because we're going to be reviewing this hot sauce if Oh, it's back to front. This hot sauce. Um, so I'm going to have three for the normal review. One used in the normal tomato sauce, and two using just eaten and reviewing. So I like the smell of the batter. Kind of reminds me of going to like a holiday, camp uh, camp holiday, you're walking about and you're smelling the little restaurants that they've got in the batter that they use from there. Smells like chicken, I've got to give it to them um, without biting it yet. The aroma is what you would expect from a chicken, um, a chicken dipper. almost yeah nice sweetness to it so what we're going to do is bite it yeah so here you can see a nice crispness to it i'm assuming that's going to be a good texture because it's crispy so far but me holding it too long maybe it's my the oils in my skin might make it weird for, i don't know who knows anyway let's try it A little bit drier than chicken, but the taste is there. I can put my tongue on a, um, like a little bit of a grassy hint, a little bit of a earthiness to it, probably from um, the pea protein that they use. Um, very light very 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 light citrusy flavor to it but not it's very hard to actually put your tongue on it there's obviously the seasoning from the salt uh, garlic i'm assuming it's garlic powder and not actual garlic from the seasoning Let's have another one. A little dry because I haven't used sauce yet. Onion hints. Hints of onion there. Again, probably from an onion powder rather than actual onions themselves for the flavourings. But there's a hint of that there. Um, The texture is what you would expect from your general dipper thing. 
I don't think that anything would change between the batter, whether it's vegan or if it was a real chicken. So, and it's just got that beautiful battery um, aroma to it. So, tastes. Let's do this one, and I'll go to tomato sauce with it. Tastes like chicken. A little bit of citrusiness coming through. You can taste the wheat. Oh. It's a little bit dry, but it's, yeah. So what we're going to do, see what's like with sauce. I'm assuming it's just going to be normal because sauce is just added. But just want to try it with tomato sauce. But yeah, the flavor is this. I can't see much of a difference except for the dryness of it. And um, the texture is slightly different to chicken. The chicken stuffed dippers that you normally get. But with sauce, there's a slight sponginess to it rather than meaty. But other than this um, slight sponginess, if you have it with sauce, you would you wouldn't really tell the difference between chicken and this. There's only a slight sponginess, um, which you can kind of go. If if you you know if you do these type of things with reviews and such, you'll get used to the palate. But. If you're just eating quickly, there's not much. It's only when you swallow them, the dryness that kind of picks up. So I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these for the hot sauce. Um, tell me your view and opinion of the review on this. Do you agree with my um, perspective on these? Have you done a review on these on your channel? If you got a YouTube channel and you do food reviews, if you do, do a comment on the video first. And at the end, just say um, whether you agree or disagree and that you've done a video. Tell me your YouTube channel name and the name of the video of this review so I can go and check in. If I like the content that you do, I'll subscribe because I'm looking for more content to watch. Watch, I've got the hiccups. Um, and if you don't do content, you don't do YouTube videos, um, you can also just leave a comment as a viewer. And do you agree? Have you had this before? Do you agree with my review? I've got to see it. it. Do you know what? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I was thinking maybe it's 9. Because it's only a little bit of the um, sponginess. But just in case there are better... Um, alternatives out there I'm going to have it as an 8 but I'm on the edge of do you know what 8.5 let's just stick with 8.5 because there could be and this is the first time I've had these um, in a vegan form um, extremely tasty very hard to tell the difference unless you take your time with eating and trying to explore the flavours, the textures and everything behind it. Do you agree with that score or do you think it was a little bit too friendly, um, too nice for them? I think the price is quite decent. I think you get like 15, um, 12 or 15 of them and two ninety nine, dollars And it tastes really good, very well seasoned. Um, although it says no um, artificial colours and flavours, I'm assuming they still use things like stabilizers, um, which is basically just to hold it together. It's not more towards the flavors, more just the preserve, preserving it, like its shape or whatever. I could be wrong. I'm just saying I'm assuming that. So if you agree with this, tell me in the comments. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, select all notifications, strike the like, share the content and all the good stuff. Check the links in the description as well. Join the Discord channel and I'll catch you guys later. And yeah, do you agree?
or disagree, whether you're a commenter and viewer or you're a channel maker and you do reviews as well and you want me to check it out and subscribe if you do good videos and I enjoyed the reviews, I'll check it out and I'll also subscribe if I like the channel. So, you know what to do. I'll catch you in the next video, which is going to be done straight away because I'm doing that sauce. This is the main sauce. The little bit here is tomato. This is the hot sauce. Let's see if my face goes wonky. Catch us in a bit.